have several outfit ideas for you. If you're anything like me, you tend to gravitate to the same several pieces that you have in your closet and you get yourself in a little bit of a rut. And while nothing that I'm sharing is earth shattering or trend setting, maybe this will help you either shop your own closet or give you some ideas if you don't have these things in your closet. What I'm sharing today are things that I have fairly recently posted, not just on Instagram, but specifically on the LTK app. A lot of times I will post things that are only on the LTK app. They might occasionally get shared in stories, but they don't necessarily go in my feed. It's because I don't wanna bombard you with constant posts on my Instagram feed. I try to limit those posts to once a day and then a few things in stories. But the LTK app is different because people are going on that app specifically to shop. If you're not already following me on the LTK app, let me explain to you why I think it's a good idea. First of all, it's the largest shopping app on the internet. I can't even remember all the stats and figures, but it is an astonishing amount. I was shocked actually when I found the recent stats on it. It's free and you can follow it just like you follow Instagram. You can follow your favorite creators, you'll have a timeline, you can even set up notifications for when your favorite influencers post. You can pick a specific influencer, I will use myself as an example. You can go to their page on the LTK app and you can search within that influencer's post. So let's say I know, I'm gonna use myself as an example. Let's say I'm like, I know she posted about some sunglasses and I can't remember where she said she got them. I know I'm referring to myself in the third person, that's weird. I can go to the LTK app, go to the Miss Gold Girl post. There's a search bar on just the Miss Gold Girl stuff and I could put sunglasses and it'll pull up every pair of sunglasses I have ever posted on the app and I can search from there. Or maybe there's a sale at a favorite retailer, let's say Colleen Rothschild, and you wanna know what my favorite things are, you can always DM me, of course, on Instagram. But if you need something in the middle of the night or you want a really fast response, I do my best, but I'm not always on my phone. Although, here it is right here. You can go to my page on the Shop LTK app and you can type in Colleen Rothschild and it'll pull up everything I've ever posted from that retailer. Or maybe you remember there was a green dress I wore. You can literally write in green dress. It'll pull up green dresses. Enough of the chit chat. Let's jump into some outfit ideas and things you might want for summer to throw into your summer outfit rotation. So the first post, depending on when this goes live, might not even be up yet. You're getting a sneak peek. So let me give you some backstory. When I do these Instagram roundups, I kind of like to give you a little bit of what was going on behind the scenes. We recently went to Houston to visit our oldest for his birthday. And that Saturday that we were there, he had plans during the day. So I had a lot of downtime. I reached out to an old friend of mine, another creator. Her name is Sarah. She's known as Hot and Humid on Instagram. She lives in the Houston area in the Woodlands and on a whim I texted her that morning and she was shockingly available to meet for lunch. I say shockingly because she has younger kids. They're all in sports. Usually their weekends revolve around sports activities. I found the one weekend she didn't have anything on her book. So we met for lunch at the Woodlands and I'd never been up there before. It's beautiful. And we met for lunch at the Tommy Bahama restaurant up there. And this was the dress that I had brought along. It's for a sponsored post that I'm doing with Chico's. I'm a Chico's ambassador. And so I figured I was gonna wear it that weekend anyway. And then I thought this will be a perfect outfit to wear for lunch with friends. And she's really, she gets the influencing thing so she can take my outfit post for me. So she took these pictures. I took pictures of her outfit. Make sure you're following her on Instagram to see what she was wearing. But I got to the restaurant first and while I was waiting, I cannot tell you how many women, all different ages from pregnant with a new baby all the way to probably in their 60s or 70s complimented me on either the dress, the earrings, or the necklace. I personally am not a huge fan of obvious animal print, but what I like about this dress is it's not so obvious. The colors make it really unique. I love the little keyhole opening. But what really sold me on this outfit was I picked out the necklace first. I had seen that in person at a local Chico store and loved it. So when it came to choosing the pieces for my June Chico's collaboration, I started with the necklace and worked my way backwards to find items to go with it. So that's where the, the colors in the dress came from. And then I went with the matching earrings. 
and all of that. I will list everything that I listed in each of these photos so I don't have to walk you through every single thing that I'm wearing, so do check the description box if you want more of those details. But one more funny story about this particular post is at the end of the lunch, we both pulled out our lipsticks to reapply and we pulled out the same one. We both reached for the Tarte Juicy Lips. She had, I think the shade Strawberry. I have Hibiscus and it's what I'm wearing now and I love this. One caveat, it is very emollient, so if you're gonna be outside for a long period of time, it's probably going to melt a little bit and get really, really soft. So I just wanted to give you that FYI. So since we're talking about super hot temperatures, I do have two posts that I may have shared on stories, but they're definitely living over on LTK. And one of those is a roundup of clear espadrille wedges. By clear, I mean the straps are clear. I've been raving about the Steve Madden, I think it's called the Yuri or Uri espadrille. And I found that at Nordstrom. It's carried a bunch of places and I love it, but it is not inexpensive. Then I saw that Madden has like a, a subsidiary called Madden Girl or Madden NYC, there's two of them, uh, that is carried over at Walmart. They had a version of it for $22 and I posted that on stories and then immediately was getting bombarded with messages saying, hey, these are sold out. So that stinks. So then I thought, there's, if, if I can find it there, there's, I know Madden Girls carried other places. Let me see what else I can find. I came up with six options, including the Madden Girl it's not even a dupe. I mean, it's basically the same shoe under a different name from the same company. So I found six of those and all of them, as I'm filming this, are under $50. Most of them are in the $30 range. The other one that I didn't do a dedicated video on, although I guess I could have, I chose not to because I'm gonna be honest, I'm not going to get into a swimsuit and model that for you ever <laughs> that I can think of. I mean, I shouldn't say ever, but at this point, no. So I did do a quick little roundup because I do get a lot of questions about recommendations for swimsuits. What do I feel comfortable in? Especially because I have, I'd say a tummy, I don't say tummy issue. It makes it sound like I have a bathroom problem, but I am self-conscious about my lower stomach. So what are some things that I recommend? So I do have six swimsuits, five one pieces, one two piece actually, my favorite pair of sunglasses, my favorite cover up, and my visor that I wear whenever I go out, hang out in the pool. I posted that over on Instagram and all of that is available at Amazon. So the prices are fantastic. And I should tell you, usually in the app, in the description on the app, I'll go ahead and list all the sizes and shades and all that, not so much when I post on stories. It's just too much font to look at. So if you're ever curious what size are you wearing, all that stuff, it's always listed on the LTK app. It's just easier to have it live there. But I can tell you in the swimsuits, surprisingly, I'm still a small in all of them. I don't know how that's possible. There's a lot of give on these things. All right, let's move on to another outfit post. This one very simple and actually what I happen to be wearing right now. Uh, I apologize. I took this mirror selfie and then after posting realized you should probably clean the mirror. I've got some dog print, the nose prints on there and just where that mirror is in my house is where all the dust just goes. Just a basic mirror selfie. I don't do these a lot. I don't know why I feel like I need to find some fabulous location behind me to shoot. Please let me know actually down in the comments. Do you really care if it's if I'm like out and about walking with a pretty background or does a mirror selfie suffice? I'm just curious. I mean, I'm not posting this for me to look at. I'm posting these for you to look at. So your input would actually be really helpful. But this two piece set, I did share on stories because when I first tried it on, I was like, you guys need to know about this. And then I just recently posted it on Instagram as well. It's two separate pieces. They're both incredibly reasonable, under $15 each. They, it comes in this bright pink and also a navy. The top is absolutely true to size, a little boxy um, fit even, so it's, it's generously sized. So just go with your true size. I wouldn't say size down. And then I always size up one on the shorts. It just depends where you feel comfortable. So I'm wearing a medium in the bottoms. The shoes are a story all into themselves. I don't know how many years ago I found those. They are from Walmart. They're one of my favorite pairs of shoes that I've gotten from Walmart. Unfortunately, I don't know that they're still stocked on the website. I can see myself living this all summer. It's great for loungewear. It's great to leave the house. It's a great cover-up option for the beach if you want more of a two-piece option or you could just wear the bottoms over your swimsuit. You can wear it like I do all the same color, top and bottom. You could do some color blocking and, and do two different colors. I just love it when Walmart comes out with something that's pretty unique. I haven't seen this anywhere else and the budget, the price point, 
outstanding. I also should say that the tan that you're seeing on me, yes, that is a tan. It's a fake tan. It's this B tan product I've tried and it's the longest lasting tan I have ever, I mean, I'm still going. It's starting to wear off a little bit here, but this is like a week old. I gotta scrub it off and start over soon, but I am really impressed. We have a little fancier dress up outfit, but the price tag is not fancy at all. This is from Amazon, so you know it's inexpensive. I can't remember offhand, but I wanna say it's under $40. This outfit I wore to celebrate our oldest son's 24th birthday. I can't believe I have a 24 year old son. We were staying at the JW Marriott near the Galleria and I wanted to get an outfit post, but because it's Houston, I didn't want to be outside because it's just so hot there. Um, so we actually found the convention area part uh, or the, the ballroom level and it was a Friday evening. So nobody was there and we just went upstairs, took a few shots. So there I am. So I love this dress. It's a summer dress. It's flowy. It's loose. It's lightweight, but it's a little bit dressy just because of that one shoulder kind of deal it has pockets which is really nice of course it being amazon it does come in other colors as well let's talk about these shoes so while the dress is definitely budget friendly these shoes are not like i'm not even going to pretend that they're in they are not they are like a luxury type brand shoe i do have a coupon for 50 dollars off your first purchase which i'll put down in the description box i mean 50 dollars is nice but these shoes are over 500 dollars, so doesn't really move the needle that much but I will say, these are the kind of shoes you buy, you wear for years and years and years. They do come in other colors. They come in at least two heel heights. I have the highest heel, it's the 100 millimeter. These shoes are amazing. Uh, I have two pairs of shoes from Sarah Flint now. And what I love about them is some of these details. Like yes, that is a very thin stiletto heel, but it's reinforced with steel inside it. So it's not wobbly. You feel really supported. It has a built up instep in it, like a, like a bump. So you, even though you're barely wearing anything on your foot, you just have like a little thin ankle strap and a little leather behind your heel. You are really supported in that shoe. So yeah, it's a high heel, but I don't feel any differently walking in those than like a one inch heel. They're amazing. So if you have to wear heels on a regular basis or you want to invest in a shoe that you know you're gonna wear over and over and over again, I would recommend these shoes, at least their heels. I haven't tried their flats and to be honest, I feel like there's enough options in the market at lower price points and flats that I personally don't feel I need to invest in that level of shoe. Now, if I had foot problems, I might feel differently, but for heels, I do think it's worth it. If you're gonna go with classic shapes, classic shades, highly recommend uh, this shoe. As far as dinner, we ended up going to Mastro's and the food was good, but if you're looking for a classic steakhouse experience where the staff is super attentive, where it's like a low key, almost gentleman's club, kind of quiet and intimate, Mastro's is not it. Mastro's is like a hot spot. It's trendy. The music is blasting. We had to yell to hear each other at the table. So it's a different experience. It just, I've heard the drinks are incredible. We didn't get anything fancy. I just got a glass of wine, but I've heard their martinis are served like on dry ice and there's the smoke and all that. So if that's the more kind of like Vegas type experience you want, you're gonna love Mastro's. If you want a more quiet, intimate dining experience, maybe a little more elegant, I'm looking for our recommendations in Houston. Let me know. This next one, I know I said I would live in this one, but honestly, if I could pick one piece of clothing to wear the entire summer, it's this dress from Athleta and it does come in a bunch of colors and I did share this uh, in my Athleta try on but I hadn't worn it like out and about when I shared it. I wore this dress, we did a little afternoon up in a little hill country town not too far from my house actually called Blanco. If you're in the San Antonio or hill country area and you want a little fun day trip, we love Blanco. There's a couple spots that we really love. We love going to the Redbud Cafe for lunch. It's really just open for, I think, breakfast and lunch. Dinner, maybe Friday, Saturday. We absolutely love going to Oro Bianco Creamery. It's a, well, it's mostly a gelato place, but you can also get cheeses and deli meats there, but primarily it's for the gelato. It's gelato that's made from water buffalo milk, which I know sounds insane, but apparently water buffalo milk has a higher fat content so it produces creamier gelato and they use all natural ingredients and the flavorings and all that stuff and it's outstanding. It is so good, it is worth the drive up there, which is about 
maybe half an hour from my house. It's really not that far from us. So we love to get the ice cream, either sit on their little front porch area or sit in the car or bring it over to the city park. Uh, if you're familiar with Blanco, there's a town square around an old courthouse and on the south east corner of the square, there is a little hidden gem city park. It is so beautiful. It is so quiet. It reminds me of the book, The Secret Garden. It's just, it's all shaded and there's trails and there's seating and there's never anybody in there. And it's just beautiful. Uh, it's not like a park with a playground and stuff. It's just walking trails and gardens and picnic tables and seating. It's absolutely beautiful. So we'd love to hang out there. And I was walking around the square when we took this picture. Let's talk about, well, let's finish talking about the dress. So the dress runs really large, size down one. I'm wearing it in extra small. You do need a racer back bra if you're, unless you don't care if your straps show. I'll list the two that I've been wearing sort of interchangeably down below. It has pockets, it's flowy. It doesn't wrinkle, it dries in about 30 seconds and the fabric is UPF 50. So it's got a lot going on for it. But we also need to talk about this crossbody bag. So I got this as my Mother's Day present. I like it. The only reason I don't love it is because of this monstrosity that I thought I needed. This is the iPhone 13 Pro Max. It's huge. It fits in nothing unless you're carrying a big bag. So my next iPhone, I'm not going for the max size. I'm just gonna get the normal size screen. And I say that because I specifically chose this bag because it has a nice little outer pocket that I thought I could slide this into. No, I have to fit this in one of the bigger main compartments so it takes up more room, blah, blah, blah. That being said, I love the versatility of this bag. I still carry it. I love that I can wear it crossbody like you're seeing here over the shoulder or I can take the big strap off and just carry it by the little chain which makes it a little more, I don't wanna say elegant, but just a little less casual. And it comes in, I don't know, like 10 or 15 colors. I just picked this sort of, I think it's called atmosphere gray because that color will go with literally everything year round. I am going to leave you with this last outfit idea. I love bright colors. It's new to me the first more than half my life, most of my adult life, I lived in black and gray. Maybe it's coming from Chicago originally, but that's just what I wore all the time. So I've been slow to add color into my life, but I am embracing it. And I love the idea of mixing really bright colors like this bright pink and orange and coral. And so this outfit is just fun and happy and bright and summery. So even if you don't have these specific pieces that I'm sharing, look through your closet and see if you have some colors that, that you wouldn't necessarily think go together. Give it a try. In this case, Shane was visiting. Uh, he was home for just a little bit for the summer and we went down to the Pearl and we were just walking around and we just snapped this shot because when you're at the Pearl in San Antonio, you go there for pictures. While we were there, we saw so many people taking graduation pictures, quinceanera pictures. I know people go down there for uh, engagement photos. I mean, it's just such a great photo spot. Another place, if you're visiting San Antonio, you must go to the historic Pearl. It's an old Pabst Brewing Company brewery that was closed years and years ago and was revitalized. It has one of the top 10 hotels in the country, Hotel Emma which I have never stayed at because it is about $700 a night to stay there. Amazing restaurants, fun shopping, the best farmer's market in San Antonio, just a ton going on there. But anyway, we were walking along the river there and it's just a great photo op. And as far as what I am wearing, it is a summer weight sweater from Chico's. So I probably wouldn't wear it right now, but if you're living far north of me, you can get away with this. And I paired it with these coral linen wide leg cropped pants runs true to size. We need to talk about this crossbody bag as opposed to my last one. This crossbody bag that I'm wearing in the photo is deceptively tiny. When I first saw it on the Chico's website, I passed on it because I thought there's no way it can fit anything. Oh yes, it can. It has an outer pocket that easily fits this thing and then it opens up and it just, it's like one of those magic bags that you can fit so much in it. I love the woven leather details. I love the deceptively small size because it's not small. I do wish it had more of an adjustable strap, but it's fine the way it is. It is leather and it's a good price point for what it is. So I needed to mention that because I love Chico's. Obviously, I'm a, like I said, I'm a Chico's ambassador, but what I, I love the clothes 
and I wear the same ones year after year. They last a long time, but I have to say the hidden gem are their accessories, their jewelry, their purses, their sunglasses, their hats. Those items are incredible. I don't care how, I know people think of Chico's as somewhere that older people shop. I don't care how old you are, go check out their accessories. They are such good quality and nobody ever remembers to go there. So that's how I was first introduced to Chico's in my early 30s. So I just wanted to put that out there. I've been talking long enough. I run up the clock. I'm sure you're sick of listening to me. So I'm going to stop there. Let me know below. Are you following me already on Instagram? I'd love to know. And I'd especially like to know if you're following me on LTK. If you're not, go ahead and change that. The links to do both are down in my description box as well. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.